हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू आर न्यू चैनल एंड न्यू एंड न्यू वीडियो सो आर चैनल नेम इज शाह मून स्टडी सो माय नेम इज तन्मय मानचंद्र आई स्टडी इन सैनिक स्कूल केरल सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डील विद चैप्टर 1 ऑफ एनसीईआरटी बुक साइंस न्यूट्रिशन एंड प्लांट्स एंड आल्सो इन दिस न्यू चैनल वी आर आल्सो गोइंग टू कवर ऑल द चैप्टर ऑफ मैथ्स एंड साइंस ओके बिफोर स्टार्टिंग आवर आवर न्यू अमेजिंग वीडियो I have a request with you all. So, if you like this video, please do like and subscribe to our channel, and do share this video to your friends, siblings, sisters, and your amazing family. Okay, so let's start our new amazing video. So, chapter. So we are today. We are going to deal with chapter one: nutrition and plants. So this chapter is very very important. A chapter which tells us about the different modes of nutrition. Plants, plants consume food. How plants prepare food? How plants distribute food to all the parts of plants? Okay, so let's understand the chapter. Okay, so we are going to cover all the oh, this whole chapter with a mind map. So guys, you can see the plants are of two ma major type, which are autotrophic and heterotrophic. So guys, can you tell what what do you mean by autotrophic nutrition? Yes. So I will tell. Autotrophic nutrition auto means self. The plants which are self self dependent, uh, they they are not dependent on other organisms, are known as autotrophic nutrition. So all the green plants. Carry a bio biochemical process known as photosynthesis. So all the green plant can, uh, especially green plant contain photosynthesis. So we will cover uh, this photosynthesis in further slide. Okay. So now what is heterotrophic? Heterotrophic means the plant which are dependent on other organism organism for food are known as heterotrophic nutrition. So uh, heterotrophic are Uh, are of many types. Are of three types: sapro, saprotrophic, symbiotic, and and insectivorous. Okay, so we are going to also uh, study deep about it in further slide. So stay tuned with this video. Yes, plant do also need min minerals, mineral salts. So basically, minerals are of two types. Two major elements are nitrogen and magnesium so nitrogen and magnesium so plant uh, if uh, plants uh, in plants uh, which are in soil soil need nitrogen and magnesium to grow the plant to grow the plant uh, very much good so uh, so the mineral can be added by fertilizers include chemical fertilizer and natural fertilizer fertilizers chemical and uh, for natural fertilizers mean which is, which, which is urea um, manure compost okay so there are two ma um, major element which are nitrogen nitrogen and magnesium and it and mineral salt can be added by fertilizer which which are of chemical fertilizer or it can be a natural fertilizer so now we are going to study about gaseous exchange so now what is gaseous exchange gaseous exchange is what when the plant give out Or uh, carbon dioxide and take in oxygen. Yes, guys, you have heard it, heard that correct. When the plant take in oxygen and give out carbon dioxide is known as respiration. And the pro and the process when the plants take in carbon dioxide and give out oxygen is nothing is not a, a nothing chemical. It is a photosynthesis. Okay, so this is a a very important thing. in this slide so please pay attention now photosynthesis and respiration now respiration happen in day and night both in day and night means respiration when the plant take in oxygen and give out uh, uh, carbon dioxide is called respiration and now the Im important thing is that photosynthesis ha happens only in day when the plant take in carbon dioxide and give out oxygen is known as photosynthesis which happens only in day so now 
let's come on uh, on photosynthesis now when a photosynthesis is what when the plant needs sunlight uh, and water in the presence of carbon dioxide uh, is called photosynthesis yes and the green pigment is called chlorophyll also carbon dioxide car uh, that sunlight plus water in the presence of carbon dioxide and chlorophyll is known as photosynthesis so the, so the this photosynthesis has happen happen in this green leaves okay so when the when the plants get sunlight plus water and in the presence of carbon dioxide and chlorophyll so they give out glucose plus water glucose plus oxygen okay so yes insectivorous plants this is also type of a heterotrophic plant so so uh, this plant name is venus uh, flytrap and this plant name is uh, pitcher plant so this these are a type of insectivorous plant okay insectivorous so this is a venus tri plant so so you can see that uh, uh, this uh, venus flytrap is uh, uh, when the frog go, go in and it trap it and it take it all the nutrition so it is a insectivorous plant yes so it is a, a type of a heterotrophic plant insectivorous so now let's come on to the next slide so now we are come now we have come on the second types of heterotroph heterotrophic yes saprotrophic so saprophytrophic plants so now what is uh, saprophytic plants saprophytic plant the plants which are uh, on dead and decaying are known as saprophytic plants and a very good example of saprophytic plant is a mushroom okay yes it is also a type of a heterotrophic plants which the uh, the plants which are on dead and decaying are known as a saprophytic plant and a very good example of it is mushroom now let's uh, come on to the next slide okay yes so now the third type of plant so the third type of heterotrophic plant is symbiotic plants yes so this is our our, our, uh, our last topic also so the this thing which you can see is so this thing which you can see is it is known as lichen yes it is known as lichen so now i'm going to tell what are uh, lichens lichens it is a very good conductor of pollution yes if there are many uh, lichens in surrounding in surrounding so it means there the the uh, pollution the air pollution is too good if if the lichens are decreasing so it means that the pollution is not good the air pollution is not good yes so it the symbiotic plant is also a example of heterotrophic plant and yes it is known as lichens so i i know uh, so i will be request if you like this video so please do like and subscribe to our channel so let's uh, let's uh, re, uh, re summary about uh, what we have learned yes autotrophic it occurs only in green plant yes that we have seen the like photosynthesis and uh, heterotrophic it occurs in all non green plant and animals okay so heterotrophic means the plant which are dependent on other organism are known as heterotrophic plants okay so carbon dioxide and water are needed for syn synthetic uh, synthesis of food yes we also know we are also learned that that uh, carbon dioxide plus water in the presence of chlorophyll and sunlight are known as photosynthesis yes we have also learned that and heterotroph de uh, derive their food from green plants green plants or autotroph directly or indirect indirectly okay so now chlorophyll and sunlight are essential for synthesis food and chlorophyll is absent and sunlight is not needed in heterotrophic so guys thank you for watching this video please do like and subscribe to our channel thank you